All right, welcome back to the shop. So today we're going to talk about some pliers in the home shop. Very a few different types. Uh, we definitely have more around here, but here's a few made by Channel Lock uh, that we want to take a look at. Um, this is a model 738, model 326, a model E388, model 528, and a model 524. Um, these are all very handy pliers I have around the shop. Uh, what we, what, probably the the one I use the most is this one, the 738, and it's a really nice pair of pliers. It's got some extra length to it that allows you to get into some some really tight areas. Uh, it's got a nice cross hatching on it there, which gives you a nice good bite on what you're working on. Uh, the, the grinding is it's nice but it's a little rough compared to um, some of what you see on some older tools. Uh, the handles are reasonably decent. They're a little wider here. Gives you a nice um, nice feel really. This is a really nice set of pliers and I, I like having them here and I, I actually use them a fair amount. Um, next here is the 326, 6 being the length of the plier and this one the 8 being the length of the plier. Um, these are also handy to have around. Um, I've already you know used these pretty hard you can see. Um, they, they've held up well I never used the wire cutter, so I don't know how good it is or anything like that. I just use these as a, a needle nose pliers, a grab and twist and whatever you need it for there, uh, pulling out cotter pins or whatever you have. So this is a good pair of pliers to have around. Uh, convenient size, the six inch, you know, is a nice um, convenient size that gets you. Gets you a lot, but they're not super heavy duty. Um, then we'll go on to the curved jaw. There we go. Curved jaw. E388, 8 inch long plier. Um, these are super handy to have um, because when you're working on things, you can grab and still. Um, kind of see what you're doing better while you're grabbing because you're not coming straight in and blocking yourself. You can come in and see more what you're working on. Uh, so these these curved jaw pliers, um, I like these and these being a larger set um, are very handy because when you're grabbing stuff and trying to pull, uh, there's a little bit more meat here and you don't have to worry about bending it. So that was uh, it's a very welcome addition to the shop. And the slip joint pliers, the 526, or sorry, it's 528. Um, they slip to two different sizes. This is your standard all-around shop plier. Use it to grab things, use it to do whatever. I think they have a, <laughs> a half-assed uh, wire cutter in them there, but uh, Overall, uh, these are nice and tight as far as the slip joint goes. Uh, I haven't used these extensively. You can see they're pretty, pretty new yet, but um, I do like this pair. Um, being that they're eight inch long, they're a little longer than usual. I think six inches is the common that you'll see. Uh, so I was kind of curious when I saw these and I got a set, and I'm pretty happy with them. You know, they're finished pretty well. They're made decent. Uh, Typical channel lock covering there on the handles. And, you know, basically the same goes here for the 524. Four inches long. Also pretty tight, but these are kind of nice because they can get in a uh, smaller area. You know, a little bit smaller um, size head on there that you can get into, you know, tighter spots. So, thought what the heck, we'll get a set of them to to play around with here in the shop. So there we go, just a quick look at a few 
different kinds of pliers to have around the home shop. They all serve the purpose. They're all handy in their own way and they all get used um, periodically for for what you're doing. So, uh, like I say, having used them, I, um, I don't have any issues with any of them. I do see this as a very handy tool and this one is a very handy tool. Um, this one here is run of the mill uh, for needle nose pliers. I think if they wanted to diversify more, you know, some more stuff like this, maybe different angles, uh, what have you, with this, I mean, for me, I do like a bent needle nose plier. It, it just is handy. Uh, and I think this is a decent size range. Um, going larger than this, they start getting cumbersome and what have you. I, I think this is a, a good all-around size. Sometimes a larger one would be handy, but most of the time that's that's a good size. And the smaller ones, like I say, they get a little flimsy. Okay, so there we go. Quick look at some pliers. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.